is Pam Coey, and I'm in my studio right now, and I'm getting ready for a class to come in. It's a master class, level two, and one of the things that they're coming to do is work really large scale, and so that's one of the reasons why I've moved walls around and tables so that they can do that. And one of the things I wanted to show you real quickly is just a short tutorial on how to reverse roll a very tightly wound roll of paper. This particular one is Strathmore Mixed Media, so you can work in any medium, great material. And I have to thank my friend Jane Kenyon from Vancouver who showed me this little trick on how to get it to lie flat. So here's the roll, one roll, but I also have Arches oil paper that came in a roll and I reverse rolled that and now it will lie flat. This is my Arches oil paper that has been reverse rolled around this concrete form. You can see the diameter is probably about 10 inches. Uh, these come in different diameters, but the point is that if you reverse roll it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, the opposite way that it comes to you, then when you are ready to use it, it will really lie flat and that's, that's really awesome. So these concrete forms usually come pretty tall all you have to do then is cut them at whatever height you want and I wanted to get these cut just a little bit taller than the width of the paper so this paper is 10 yards by 51 inches tall so this would probably be closer to I don't know 53 inches or something like that just so that when you store it you know you're not having the paper touch the floor so that's been reverse rolled for a while but now I want to show you how to reverse roll this mixed media paper and I'm just going to use a mailing tube. You can see that it's very tightly wound like this. The first thing you want to do then is just get it started. I'm going to take a little piece of tape like this and tape it to the mailing tube. Start reverse rolling it. So you just want to get it started like this. And I think getting it started is the hardest part. Sometimes it's good to have somebody help you with this part. And it doesn't have to be, you know, really tightly wound. I'm just holding it like that. Basically, once you get it started, you can unroll as much as you want. And I mean, the tube was just there to get it started. And I don't have to tightly wind around the tube. It's really just a something that you can use to get it going. And then, you know, you just unroll as much as you want, then have some tape ready to go. I use uh, artist tape, and I just sort of tape it like this down here. Actually, I'm gonna use this one to, I'm not gonna cut it right away. I'm just gonna let this sit like this and let it just relax. And, you know, I can cut it tomorrow. I could cut it in a half an hour. I could cut it whenever, but, uh, now that I've reverse rolled it, it's just going to be a lot easier to uh, work with. So again, put that tape there. I'm going to use the artist tape rather than say a masking tape because it's very low tack and it's not going to tear the paper when it comes time to take that off. So that is how you reverse roll tightly wound paper. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial.